Good morning, guys, and welcome to Sunday Small Group. I am here getting ready for Ironworks. I thought I'd give you guys a quick Devo for the day, and I'm really looking forward to wrapping these videos up on Sunday mornings because hopefully we're going to be seeing each other face-to-face -face really soon as we start Phase 2 in just a couple weeks. Um, everyone stay well out there, guys, so that we can make sure that we stay on schedule for the next phase of re-entry at First Baptist. So today, though, I want to take a quick second and I want to encourage you with some truth from Scripture. Now, one thing that I have noticed recently is that people are really careless with their words, right? People feel like it's okay to attack random people on social media. You know, even in person, as we've seen in the news, there's been verbal attacks, and that usually is how it kind of starts, and then it's going to escalate into more sometimes. What that tells me is that we as the church need to really be on top of our words. Right? We need to speak kindness, to show grace, to encourage others to do the same. I've seen people in all sides of every conflict going on right now, just firing shots back and forth at each other. And nobody is better because of it. We can all agree on that. Pastor Brooks has been working through the book of James over the past couple months on Sunday mornings. And in this book, guys, we have some great encouragement to watch our words. And here's a great example. I want to share with you guys James 3, 6 through 10. And here's what it says. And the tongue is a fire, a world of unrighteousness. The tongue is set among our members, staining the whole body, setting on fire the entire course of life, and set on fire by hell. For every kind of beast and bird, of reptile and sea creature can be tamed and has been tamed by mankind. But no human being can tame the tongue. It is a restless evil, full of deadly poison. With it, we bless our Lord and Father, and with it, we curse people who are made in the likeness of God. From the same mouth comes blessing and cursing. And my brothers, my friends, these things ought not to be so. James didn't pull any punches here, right? I love it. We have the capacity to do great things with our words, but honestly, most of the time, we're getting our words are just getting us into trouble. When someone engages you on social media and it's clear that they just want to argue, guys, just excuse yourself from that interaction. Be the bigger person. When someone says unkind things about another person, don't jump in with your input. Don't, don't one-up that. Don't just engage in that. Instead, either encourage that person to stop or, or remove yourself from the situation. As the body of Christ, we have a duty to demonstrate Christ in all areas of our lives. And one of the most powerful ways is in our speech. With all the opinions, all the misinformation out there, all the just plain ugliness that's going around, be a bright spot in those areas. Show Christ in your words and let people see something encouraging in you. Guys, I know that it is a crazy time, but I know that you guys can all make a huge difference for the kingdom. So I hope you can stand strong. Hope you can watch your words. And most important, I can't wait to see you guys soon. Have a great rest of your week.